Hello everyone, my name is Kurosar, and welcome back to Vintage Story Desert Life, Episode 10. This live stream was originally broadcast on April 20th, 2024. Enjoy the episode! There we go. Elmanite Cassiterite uh, climbing, but still poor. And still no... Well, we have some native copper here. It's going to be deep, though. Why have I not set up uh, auto map markers? Because it's me. <laughs> oh, I think I already have that marked. I actually don't hang around in this world after I put it down for the day. Because I don't want to, like, accidentally, like, pump up the, uh, the day timer or anything. I don't want to, like end up with a temporal storm that you guys weren't expecting or something where I log in and you're like, hey, why is, you know, this five day process done? We were, we just started it last time. Oh, we got some brown clay here. Oh, nice. Mark that. Uh, I'm not gonna use brown. I'm gonna use like a pale, no, cause we had red clay. Let's use a brownish orange. There we go. I spy some amaranth. Ooh, but our... Our inventory situation is not great. Goodbye. Uh, keep you. Oop, and I hear that. You bet I hear that. Now, we have an option. I can take either this one piece of mature flax, or all that amaranth. Hmm. Do I have anything on my back? Well, I really biffed this one. <laughs> I've got no extra storage anywhere. Okay, I think for now we'll take the amaranth. <laughs> Cody the Rat says, uh, stream would we help set up his map markers win? Never. Ooh. Oh, soybeans, okay. Well, I'll just remember they're here. We have plenty of soybean seeds right now. Some rice over there, though. And some more blue clay. I think we're pretty good on blue clay for a while, so I'm not going to worry about that. Um, yeah. Let's see if we can find a little cave to duck down. If there are any. I don't see any on the map here. So, you know what? Let's just... Do the dig thing again. Diggy diggy hole. And have a bite to eat too. Wow. Rice porridge is uh, pretty good apparently. Let's do our diggy hole right here. Doing the safe thing and digging straight down. Elmanite and Cassiterite and a little bit of copper. So this is a pretty resource poor area, it looks like. Oh. Well, buy medium soil. Uh, yeah, it's a mod. We have the uh, better clay mod that gives you access to the brown and red clays. They generate, as I recall, something like one quarter as often as... Um, Fire clay. So I think the blue clay is like the most common. Fire clay is reasonably common. And then these two are pretty rare. Oh. Okay, no, no piglets. Whew. All right. Well, we are not really getting any home runs on these uh, resources here, are we? Let's see, any caves? Are you a cave? You're a dent in the... Uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, we won't find any coal here. But I think I will take a tippy tap. A very dangerous tippy tap. Oh, 
Oop, oh, what was that? Interesting, there must be a bug. Someone else mentioned that sometimes when they do certain things, the camera, like, suddenly jerks to a random cardinal direction. Oh, darn it. Two more samples. And what have we got here? Elmanite and copper and not much of it. Okay. Well, I think what we'll do is let's head up to here-ish and look for a cave there. I do think we will spend the night at the house tonight because... Oh, oh Because we... Well, one, I need to go back to get more storage and dump off my existing inventory. And two, because it is medium and probably going to stay medium. I was doing some digging around the uh, game files. Here we go, fire clay. And learned that the different types of rift activity are actually a... They're like a sort of heat map kind of thing, or they're like a heat... Um, no, randomly generated value, where each one has a chance of generating at the end of the previous sort of like segment of uh, rift activity. And the heavier... Ooh, my. Thank you for spawning right there. And killing the music. Thanks. But yeah, so, like, the higher rift activities have a shorter duration. With apocalyptic lasting, like, five hours max, or something like that. There we go. I'm gonna just skirt around you. And let's... That's the, uh... High fertility soil. We don't quite need yet. I don't see any caves on the map, but I do spy some uh, exposed rocks. So let's go. Oh, and a fruit tree, too. Probably an orange tree. We're getting the evening music. Wait, are you an orange tree? No, you're just a kapok tree. Never mind. Fooled me. One. Oh, my. Hello, friendo. Indy asks if I need home runs and resources um, without a bag. Well, I'm not looking for, like, resources I can bring home. I'm looking for prospecting resources, because I want to get coal and copper, and there just isn't any. Oh, wait, wait. Very poor lignite. There we go. And given how thin the uh, limestone cover is here, it's probably going to be pretty close to the surface, which means... We'll keep our eyes glued to the ground. There you are. For any coal bits. But let's head back to home, since we are pretty full inventory-wise. Why are you a dent in the ground? No reason, apparently. Okay. Yep, there we go. So I just I just uh, sat down, and my mouse, or my, my heading just, like, jerked. 90 degrees, so that must be a bug. Oh dear. No thank you. Oh, we have quartz here at least. <gasps> and I spy coal, guys. I spy the coal right there. Alright. So, I also hear growls. So I'm going to pop up here to the surface where they can't see me as easily. Although well, they do have ground penetrating radar. Quartz. Quartz. Quartz and coal. Ow. Save, please. Don't like that game. Don't like when you uh, freeze on me like that. <laughs> Alright, let's bug out of here. Oh, flowers though. There's a small ruin here, but this looks like it's just one of those wall corners, so I don't think it's worth digging under because I've dug under a thousand of those and found nothing. So we'll leave that for now. You're in the way of my flowers. Get out of here. That's right.
Good morning, Cyber Robin. Good morning, Nickel. Good morning, 31 Keyful. Welcome to the stream. We are in the middle of a, a, a pretty, well, at, at least until very recently, a rather fruitless prospecting run, but we have now found what appears to be some brown coal. That's a hyena. Oh, up, oh, chickens. Uh, I think I'm just going to leave them about there. I don't want to chase them too, too much. But, but we could chase them into a pit. Or we could try, does anybody know how the, um, the new basket thing works with catching uh, animals? Does it work on fully grown chickens or does it only work on chicks? That's what I want to know. Oh, we have you too. Yeah, and actually, I, I did mention that I'm missing a backpack slot, which I guess I could go pick that up now. <laughs> I just walk right by it, you know? That's what I do. There we go. Tailspinner Games says it works on full-grown chickens. Awesome, good to know. Then uh, I think I might be making some baskets here soon after we... Uh, after we make a site. <laughs> okay, let's place a few more of these flowers down. Um, there we go. And let's surround you in flowers. And finish off you. I mean, there are no lupins, but they'll do. Okay. Uh, let's go do a bit of inventory. Patrick Acock doesn't use... You don't use it? Wow. Brave soul. You don't use uh, carry-on, where you do, but you never actually make use of it? Yeah, I uh, should. It's one of those things that, like, if I'm not streaming, it's always on and in front of my mind. We're going to move some of this leather working along because that way, yeah, that way we can start getting some real backpacks. So that when I forget to bring along one of them, it's not such a disaster. Oh, apparently, huh, apparently we can fit more scraped hide or more hides in here. Did I goof? Can I fit 12 at once? Or do they change that? And do we have more hides? Or are they rotted by now? They might be rotten by now. Weird Al, there's something rotten here. You better hold your nose. Yeah, I think we're out of hides at the moment, so I'm just going to go ahead and drop these in here and start that three-day process. Indy saying, from what I recall, you run, chase the chickens, and hit them with the cage till it picks them up. No, that's not how that works. <laughs> that's not how that works. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> 12 medium highs is 48 liters. Okay. I could have sworn it was 8 for some reason. And let's see. Oh, man. Inventory management and organization just doesn't exist right now. It's the awkward stage of the game where, like, we have a lot of storage. We have plenty of storage for our needs. But, like, not enough to uh, fully organize, so things get kind of messy. Tim Tam, thank you for the, uh, for the support. I finally made it to the live. Thank, thanks for all you do. Watching your videos brings me a lot of peace, so here is a small thank you. Keep it up. I will. I absolutely will. Thank you so much. Drop some seeds in there. And let's see. So we have a charcoal pit going. We have our, we finally, we, or we, not finally, we didn't really search that long. We found some brown coal. So I think the only thing left to do is let's rest. Do we have any more pickaxes? No. Okay. Let's rest in the morning. We will cross our fingers, hope that it is a calm day. And then we will go and grab us some coal. I don't want to rely on the charcoal too, too much, 
uh, because it is sort of expensive to make given that we only have so many trees and there's a lot of time involved in chopping trees. Oh no, we're starving. In bed. And of course, it is now a very high reactivity. Why wouldn't it be? Okay, whoops. I wanted to jump on there. Eat breakfast on the old uh, bear cage. Okay, so it is high, or very high reactivity. I don't see anything because I have a torch in my face. Ah, there we go. I don't see any rifts. So I think what we'll do is let's, yeah, let's go ahead and get some of that coal. I've got enough blocks for uh, sort of building a little like wall, although even better idea can make a wall out of these guys or some of one. That's Kapok. Let's do a little bit more. Let's do like two more st sets of that. It is this one, right? Nope. I think it's this way. There we go. So, yeah, we have plenty of backpack space now, finally. Let's go get us some coal. Even though I know I'm running away from the uh, big uh, <laughs> pile of charcoal we just made. But I would prefer to use brown coal for a lot of smelting actions. Since it lasts twice as long as charcoal. Man. They weren't lying when it said it's very high rift activity. Ooh. I did not spy this before. Copper. And let's go ahead and just pin you. Don't disturb the sleeping hyenas. Always good advice. Oop. Don't disturb the waking ones either, and don't walk on the sand floating over the infinite pit. Bad for your knees. And I'm just keeping my eyes peeled on the ground looking for copper and malachite and stuff. Ooh. I'll take the fully grown ones because I'm more interested right now in getting more food than I am seeds. We're actually pretty good on seeds. Probably mostly forever. Like, we have enough that given what we have to plant... I just walked right past the uh, cave, didn't I? Yes, I did. Uh, that I don't think we need to focus on getting more seeds for the foreseeable future. Okay, nuns, well, someone could come up there to spook me, but we'll just pretend they don't exist. Ugh. I hear their growls. Boop. There you go. You guys are stuck down there now, I hope. Please tell me you're stuck down there. Drop that right there. Perfect. Okay, let's get us some coal. And let's lament the fact that we still have just copper pickaxes. Granted, we are only on, like, is this day 10 or so? Control-Shift-M enables auto-map markers. Let's try it, see what happens. There we go. Cool. Well, I'll set it up later. <laughs> Thanks for the info, though. I suspect this is not going to be one of the largest brown coal deposits, given that it intersects a cave. Eric Franzen, how long is an in-game day? Um, as I recall, it's 40 minutes. Or it's either 40 or 48 minutes. Um, split roughly between night and day, although that depends on the time of year and your latitude. Let's 
is a pretty decent haul so far. And bear in mind, we are a hunter, so uh, if you watched last season, we're actually going to be getting about 10% less um, resources from mining than we did as the tinker or clockmaker. I always call it tinker. Quartz. You know what? Do we have any gold or silver nearby? I can't break the quartz to find out, but I can at least test nearby. Lignite, very large. We have native silver, which ain't a bad thing. All right. Good to know. I'm going to actually mark this as silver and make it silver. No, that's hard to see. Make you white. So I think we'll be good at about a stack of this for now. Once we have a stack, we will uh, relent and head home. This is also getting us a good supply of limestone stones that we can crush into lime later. I am personally leaning toward doing some of the like boring, grindy chores offline. But we'll see. I might do like a test run of a like 20 questions and um, panning slash grinding session at some point this week. Alright, so I was wrong. This is a decent size deposit, I think. Won't be forever coal, but nothing ever is. <laughs> yes, Nashley, maybe we'll set up automatic markers. Are you the mod author for that? Is that why you're pushing it so hard? <laughs> I could win the early if I can get enough flax. Uh, I don't think we're we're going to do that, though. Um, our flax input just is not where it needs to be. Um, we have, like, a couple rows of flax growing right now. And I think if, if we were in a temperate area, we'd probably have eh, at least an extra 50% flax than what we have now. I think that's where we'd need to be for an early windmill. Like in the last season... Of the guide series, we we got a lot of flax early, so we had um, you know a basic windmill going. What was it? It was like episode I don't know, like 10, 14, somewhere in there. It was pretty early, as I recall. How are we doing? Almost full stack. Just get a couple more to round this stack out, and also where our Pickaxe to a nub. Two more. Oh, one more. Like I said. There we go. It's going to be fun coming back in here later. Oh man, this is a mess. <laughs> All right. Let's get out of here. And you know what we didn't do? We didn't actually take a real tap here. Let's go ahead and do that. Whoops, wrong kind of tap. And we'll take you. Ilmanite, Lignite, Bismuthite, and Lapis and Sulfur. Okay. So nothing too earth shattering, but at least Lignite's there. It's important. And you know what I haven't done yet? I haven't marked home. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to do. Whom? There we go. All right, let's get out of here. Let's start some smelting and some smithing. Because I want to get that scythe going so we can start harvesting both grass and um, papyrus for all of our needs. One of those needs that never quite goes away. And then, I think, since we probably need to wait for some smelting to cool. I don't think we have any more ingots left. I think at that point we'll probably run up to the water there and we'll smack that uh, that ruin out of the water with prejudice. With great justice, as my friend says.
And this is why we're a hunter, <laughs> and not like a blackguard or some other class. These transit times are a little long. <laughs> also, speaking of running, so with these new 1.19 animations, uh, I think there needs to be some work in uh, fitting up the, uh, the sound effects to the animations, because as you can hear, walk, step, 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 step. Like, the sound does not line up. And then when you run, you run in slow motion. <laughs> I just find it hilarious. So. But it is a game that's still in development, so it's going to happen. All right. So let's get these out of here. Let's just dump you. We have our limestone bin. Stack you up. We have our food bin. Stack you guys up. And we can tuck these fences away in here. I think I like that better. All right. Uh, yes, we don't have any more ingots at the moment, so let's get to pouring some. We're going to do... We already have two hammers, so we're not going to make a hammer. We're going to do another regular pickaxe. Probably not one of these just yet. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, where's our malachite at? Let's grab these. And crucible. Hello. Let's see, we're going to need... Where's that hammer at? There you are. Bang. Five units of copper. Or 500 units of copper. All right. And... It's probably going to need one to heat up and then probably three to cook. So we're going to just do that. And yes, while I could, while I could preheat it, that requires babysitting. And I don't want to babysit anymore. So we're going to come back in about five minutes and check on that progress. It should be done by then. I'm going to leave the coal in here too. Which means I should move the one piece out of here. I'll just dump that right in here. So let's run up and let's take a look at this ruin up here real quick. I say real quick, but I really have no idea what it's going to hold for us. It could be a nightmare. But I do want to take it apart and get some more materials for our build here. And I, I am going to be doing some material gathering by breaking more of these boulders and stones and stuff. But I think for efficiency's sake, and also the aesthetic of the, the blocks here. Oh, this is a bigger ruin than I thought it would be. Can we go underwater, please? Here we go. Oh, I can't see anything. If I do the cheesy thing and kind of split my vision here, I can see underwater, though. I also see a submersible chicken. Hello, rooster. You should go home and roost. Ah, this is a sizable thing, isn't it? What are you down here? We have, ooh, a seed vessel. What have we got? Carrots. Carrots? No one likes carrots. Worst crop. All right, these are all, oh, these are actually full blocks. Here I go burning my pickaxe on this. <laughs> can I just grab these? Yes, I can. We are. There's a block here ish. Yeah, there we go. I kind of just want the full blocks, so I'm going to see if I can stand somewhere safe ish and knock the sucker down. See, that's one. That is not one, but I'll break you anyway. And yes, we're going to leave a really ugly, busted up landmark sitting here. Can <laughs> I knock it out of here? Oh, because it's flowing water, isn't it? Uh, da, 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 here we go. It's actually kind of sparse in the building blocks, isn't it? Oh, that's just junk. Insulating block face. Get down there? We cannot. And let's get some air. And 
can dive. Oh, there's a floor here, looks like, of some kind. Some aged polished rock. Oh, another vessel. What do we got? Tool vessel. It's full of me. We got a flint knife and flint axe. Not super exciting. Airtime. Oh, I said airtime. And now we can't get out of here either. It's weird. There we go. Okay. Oh, and we're getting pushed around by currents now. Oh, we done goofed. We done goofed, guys. <laughs> Sandstone rock. Grab these polished bits, and I think we're about done here. Oh my. Getting shoved around again. Last couple that I can see here. Oh, we got some, uh, some over here too. Say hello to free building blocks. Sort of free. Ah, come on, me down there. Oh boy. All right, I think we're pretty good there. Insulating face. These are all chiseled blocks that'll just turn into stones. There's a few more in there, but that was a frustrating venture. I think we're going to not do that anymore. Here's a fun one. Check out that uh, pickaxe animation there. That's from me holding space at the surface of the water. Yeah, no, I don't have the water lungs. I'm trying to breathe water, but every time I do, I just cough and sputter. Doesn't go very well. Also, I think the thing where you could crouch and swim in one block deep water has been removed. Not sure if that's a bug or on purpose, but I hope it's just a bug. I say it's a bug, so it must be a bug. And let's get these out of here. How is our fire doing over here? Hey, we're done. Sweet. I overcooked it. Uh, where did I put those tongs? Tong, ta dong, tong, tongs. Those of you who know that song, don't sing it. <laughs> don't put it in chat, please. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, go ahead and pour. All right, so that needs time to cool then, which is fine. And I'm gonna grab a bite to eat here. We're doing pretty well on food still, which is always a pleasant surprise in the early game. And let's go ahead and drop these off in here. And the coal in here. Okay, so I think I think what I'm going to do here is knock this down. That's what I was going to say. Absolutely. Let's get this charcoal out of here. I'll probably leave the uh, the basin here because we will come back and use this again at some point, I'm sure. And we're going to burn up this shovel, aren't we? But yeah, tasks like this, especially like with a bigger uh, charcoal pit, would be the kind of thing where I'd want to possibly do it off stream. Especially with hands or the stone shovel. Yeah, we got pretty lucky on the charcoal there. Um, it randomly generates, I think, between three and seven layers per layer of, uh, of logs. So we got pretty lucky there. There we go, a new shovel. 
Oops. I could use the shovel too. There we are. Okay, so we got 47 charcoal, not a bad haul. That'll be great for the future. These are all still glowing. Um, so, I think I've had these over here, didn't I? Okay, spot for them. Um, let's see, we could do, we can't do any smithing just yet. So I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna actually dig a pit and we're going to entice some chickens over to it. And by entice, I mean chase by saying, hey, I won't eat you right now if you run over this way from me. So let's just build a pit. Now I have heard tell that the chickens no longer popcorn like they used to. So we should be able to just dig a two block deep pit. Maybe put some fences around it. Although there won't be anything spawning around here that will eat chickens. The hyenas leave them alone. Which is kind of a surprise. But a pleasant one. Okay. Get our ladder in and out. Or mostly just out. In is easy. Out is more of a challenge. I'm going to widen this like one more block on each side, I think. This is a little bit tight here. Oh, and we got wind coming in. Ah, yes. The infamous Great Desert Visibility. Uh, hyenas don't eat much of anything, really. Alright, let's see if we can find these chickens. They were kind of... We're kind of up in this area here. And... I can see that just fine on the map. I don't need to worry about marking that, I don't think. Oh, I hear him. Oh, there you are. No, no, no. Not that way. My chickens everywhere, man. All right, you're going to go that way. We're pointed pretty much right at the, uh, the trap, so here we go. Keep going. We have our rooster, too. Rooster is good. Yeah, I appreciate the uh, the basket method, but especially in the early game, when you don't have a scythe, I think this is probably the superior method in general. It's also just faster. Like, hey, I want to get the chickens in here now. I'm going to just zip around here. Yep, I'm coming. Chase you directly that direction. Three out of four, and one more. I see you right there. I see you right there. Bang. In. And... Yep, no more popcorning. So, oh, there's popcorning right there. Okay, you know what? I guess we will... We will do a bit of this in the corners. Keep them from jumping out like that. There we go. And let's go ahead and make a trough since we have wood. Do I have enough grain to bother with, though? I don't. But let's make a trough anyway, and we'll fill it with some grain. Just to get that process started. Hey, we have this right here. Oh, that's a big one. There we go. Maybe even two troughs. There we are. Wrong door. I'm like, where'd they go? They're out this door. Hello, bear. Now, these guys shouldn't eat chickens either. Hopefully. Um, let's tuck the trough. Just like here. It's fine. 
Make me nervous, bear. All those noises. And let's do eight of the worst grain. And we'll just use the spelt grain, too. Nicholas's basket traps are great for, like, longer distances. Yeah, they're probably good, but I honestly prefer just to hang out in the area and, like, kind of, like, herd them myself. Oh, suitable fodder for deer, goat, moose, chicken. You can get deer to come eat? Interesting. That's a new display. I like that. That's really cool. Hello, bear. Run away, bear. I'm scarier than a bear. I'm barrier. All right, sand goes in there. How are our things? We've hardened copper, but it is seven o'clock and I'm putting my armor from my face. So that means it is time to rest because there's still medium activity today. Yes, we do need nesting boxes. I'll get to that in just a second here. I wanted to get the feeding going on first. Oh, it is actually still dark out, kind of. But not very rifty. Well, okay, I lied. Somewhat rifty. <laughs> you know, it might be worth actually taking out a couple of these guys. Because we don't have a temporal gear yet. Of any temporal gears. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Have a spear. I have three spears. Yeah, that's right. Get some. And don't get me too close to that cow. One flax. Amazing. Nothing. Also amazing. <laughs> Alright, Flax was in this one here. Uh, I think I'm going to chuck this extra extra flint knife, because we have like a bunch of flint knife handles that we're never going to use anyway. So we're just going to... Goodbye. And it is time to throw away this spear. Get out of here. And it is time for us to do some smithing again. Oh boy. Alright, so we have a fresh pickaxe. That is great. We have four ingots. I think what I want to do with these. Um Scythe is one. Scythe is definitely one. And I'm thinking probably some more nails and strips. And I might not even use the other two just yet. Ah. Uh, I guess I could have made a nails and strips. Wait. We already had molds. Ah. <sighs> okay, let's put these over here so I don't forget again. Alright, so we'll do a scythe. We'll do nails and strips later. I would like to get some of the three block tall doors in here. And I'm feeling... Probably, uh, probably Acacia. But while I'm thinking about it, and while it's still in chat, I am going to make a couple nesting boxes for our chickalickens. And I think grass is in here. Yep. Here we are. All right, let's go throw these down. Hi guys. How are y'all doing? <laughs> Portions eaten one, five and four. Yeah, we're gonna be having hungry chickens for a while, I think. Well everyone, that's about all the time we have for this episode of Vintage Story Desert Life. If you enjoyed the episode, let me know by leaving a like or a comment in the section below. And as always, my name has been Corazar. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.